Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of My Dot Any Cars, the show where we discuss everything cars, and sometimes we even get to take them out for a test drive, which is exactly what we are going to do in today's episode. We get to test drive the new Toyota Vitz, a small car with a big heart and even bigger features, such as class-leading space and a full suite of safety kit. Available in both manual and new AMT Auto, we'll get into the full details after the break but for now let's get into the news making headlines in the world of cars Starting off our motoring news, 2023 Isuzu MUX arrives with spec enhancements and expanded range. Aiming to make the large SUV accessible to a wider audience, Isuzu will be adding a 1.9-litre LS derivative to the mix later this year to complement the existing 3.0-litre lineup. While it will be the most affordable model in the range, pricing has yet to be announced. However, as of now, Isuzu is also expanding the 3.0 litre lineup with the addition of a 3.0 LSE 4x4 model. Until now, the mid range model, which slots between the 3.0 LS and 3.0 Onyx, was only available in 4x2 guys. The 2023 Isuzu MUX also received some subtle design changes. The silver and chrome finishes found on the previous model have been replaced by a dark magnetite, fit, magnetite finish for the grille bumpers, roof rails and side steps. What's more, privacy glass is now standard across the lineup and there's a new color option called Norwegian Blue which the car maker refers to as stunning. But that's not all. The LS based derivative trades its previous 17 inch alloys. For the same 18-inch rims fitted to the LSE, while the Onyx gains new 20-inch machined alloys, there are a number of improvements inside too, including dark magnetite garnishes for the door and instrument panel matching the new exterior trim. Moving over to Peugeot, now facelifted Peugeot 2008 revealed with 508 inspired face updated cabin. The second generation Peugeot 2008, which won South Africa's Car of the Year competition in 2021, is getting a mid-life revamp to keep it fresh in these fast-paced times. Peugeot is aiming to move its compact SUV upmarket and the 2023 model revealed in France this week receives an exterior makeover as well as upgraded cabin electronics and materials as before three trim grades are offered active allure and gt each boasting unique design features the upgraded 2008 is the second Peugeot model after the new 508 to adopt the company's new lighting signature which is standard across the range here we see three vertical line claws integrated into the gloss black inserts of the redesigned bumper the fresh grille designs feature the new Peugeot emblem active models have a horizontal grille pattern in gloss black and white the allure and gt variants get a vertical pattern that's color coded to match the bodywork rounding off the exterior changes are new led tail lights and a redesigned array of alloy wheels that Peugeot calls disruptive finally the french company is also offering an expanded range of exterior colors including selenium grey and okanite white, which is bluish grey highlights. On the drivetrain front, the fully electric E2008 model, which is not sold in Africa, receives a new motor and battery. The electric motor now produces 115 kilowatts, while the battery has a capacity of 54 kilowatts. As a result, the WLTP mixed cycle maximum claimed range has increased from 354 kilowatts to 400 in 2024, Peugeot plans to launch a new hybrid drivetrain that pairs a 101 kilowatt petrol engine to a dual clutch gearbox that incorporates an electric motor. Closing off our motoring news, Ford Ranger outsells Toyota Hilux in South Africa. We've become accustomed to seeing the Toyota Hilux dominate South Africa's sales charts, but last month the tides turned, with the Ford Ranger taking the bucky lead. The new generation Ford Ranger, which was announced late last year, found 2,000 to 101 homes in April, also making it the country's top-selling vehicle overall. It narrowly beat the Toyota Hilux, which managed a 
volume of 2,187 units. The Isuzu D-Max followed in a distant third with 1,183 sales. The new Ranger-based Volkswagen Amarok also enjoyed a particularly strong month relative to what its predecessor sold, entering the top seven with a volume of 339 units. That brings us to the end of our motoring news, but don't go anywhere because I know you want to see what the new Toyota Vitz, which is Toyota's cheapest model, has to offer. Stay tuned. Please walk responsibly. I did not. Mm. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of My Dot Any Cards with me, your host Diana Master. Now today we are here at Pupkovitz Toyota and guess what? Yes, your favorite passenger princess returns and we're going to take out the new Toyota Vitz for a test drive. Follow me, let's go see. Now you know me, and you know I love me a pink car, but unfortunately most cars only come in a beautiful cherry red. So this is the baby that we're going to be taking out for a test drive, and to say I'm excited is an understatement. Now true to my title of passenger princess, of course I have someone that's going to be with me telling me everything I need to know about this gorgeous baby. Stay tuned. wondering, hmm, Diana, who's going to take you out for a drive? How are you going to keep your passenger princess title intact? Well, fear not, I have Hans here who's going to take me out for a spin and we get to talk everything that we need to know about this gorgeous, beautiful, cherry red baby. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more cars after this break. Please, put on your safety belt, sir. It's very important for your life. Uh, the seatbelt doesn't make me drive comfortably. Yes, that's better. Please wear your seatbelt. I did not. Toyota Vitz and I have to say it's nice and cute very compact and it's currently Toyota's cheapest model I'm right right yes correct okay so talk to us all about this baby I mean from the get-go we get to see this beautiful display here let's talk about that well uh, compared to other models or other versions of vehicles 
they never fully stack the cheapest vehicle with all the current, you know, technology that mm -hmm. people normally want in the car that makes it comfortable to be in the vehicle. So this comes standard with the touchscreen radio, uh, radio with uh, the upgraded auto Android software. Um, you have parking assistance for that extra safety for whenever you park because uh, a lot of people don't really focus on the reverse camera mm -hmm. most of the cars that come with it uh, it distracts you so the parking sensors actually give you a better um, option um, of distance every time you have to reverse park or parallel park because that actually gives you an idea of how far the vehicle behind you is so this is coming in a one liter engine yeah. the lightest on fuel at the moment on our floor you get about 4.4 uh, um, liters per hundred so which nice. is extremely light nice. um, you have a nice uh, larger boot space than the previous predecessor which is the, the Toyota Agya yes uh, so this comes with a 295 liter boot space which is quite large for a small vehicle and uh, 14 inch room so that in case you need to replace tires it's also affordable because the bigger the tire the more uh, you, <laughs> the more money you, to, you spend. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> and I so mean, I'm, we are li living in economic, economically hard times. So anything that could basically lessen money. the burden yeah. on your pocket that's correct. is a win-win situation. So yes. this is full touch screen. Yes, that's full touch. Um, obviously, we have the power on, power off, your volume controls, your home menu. It's full. It's Bluetooth compatible. It's Bluetooth compatible and auto Android and Apple CarPlay. And Apple CarPlay. Yes. I love, love, love that. And talk to us about the controls here. These are basically your window controls, window mm. locking, uh, and also your hazards. hazards. Everything is so compact and right in your face mm -hmm. so that you don't have to look away from the road whenever you have to adjust or activate anything. Mm -hmm. Same with your your speedo on the previous uh, vehicle that we had to sell which was the cheapest on our floor the speedo was over here so every oh, time you needed to see how fast you're driving uh -huh. or whether there's a light popping on you had to look away from the road, from the road. and this is like it's literally quite, right in front yeah, of comfortable you. yes i love 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 this okay <laughs> we spoke about um fuel um we briefly touched on the engine but mm -hmm. let's get into more detail with the engine all right uh this one liter engine gives you a kilowatt of uh, 49 which is quite extreme because it's well balanced uh, power ratio because the body is not that heavy mm -hmm. so you get that's why you can get the most fuel out of the vehicle mm -hmm. um, because your power ra power body ratio is balanced, balanced. Mm -hmm. um, you have a torque of almost 131 which is also not bad for a small vehicle which you can't tow with this vehicle it's basically a run around okay. pick up documents yes. taking kids to the school yes. and all that so this is your vehicle away from the heavy duty cars mm -hmm. that consume fuel and all that so this is the ultimate saver it's in, the ultimate saver yeah. it's, it's it's perfect for me because <laughs> i yeah. don't have to spend too much money on fuel you know that you fill it up and then then you just go done. Some people get upset about the fuel consumption, uh, not the fuel consumption, the speedo that shows the fuel, uh, the gauge does not move. It stays full for a very long for time. For a long time. Yeah. And I mean, what more could you want in such a time where fuel is so expensive? expensive? Yes. I mean, anything that can help you save money on fuel is a win-win for me. Correct, yeah. Okay, so now, what else can you tell us about the car? We briefly touched on the tires. Let's mm -hmm. speak about the tires. Well, uh, your tires are quite small for this vehicle, but it's, it's like I said, mm -hmm. everything is well balanced out. The tires, if you put a bigger tire on this vehicle, it will affect your fuel consumption. Because the, the bigger, the wider, the heavier the tire is, um, immediately changes your fuel consumption because see, i didn't know that yeah and also your tire pressure so um this is a, a specification from the manufacturers to give it the best possible fuel consumption mm -hmm. yeah so that is standard you, you have a spare wheel which is the same size uh, it's a space saver but the, the the reason for the space saver is because uh, it has the metal which is on the space saver is a safety feature for impact if anything has to happen like 
accident wise. The spare wheel takes all the impact. Without oh, nice. the vehicle, it bumps you from the back if it happens. Uh, does not allow the vehicle to come into the drive department. And you see, the thing is, with small cars, people are very worried about yes, that. Yes, they, crumble, they crumble, yes, quite quickly. They so crumble quite quickly. The crumble zones of this vehicle is laid out like a bigger vehicle, so uh, it's quite, quite tough. Wow. Yes. Who would have thought that <laughs> such a small, compact car could actually help save you? You know. Well, it's a Toyota. It's, it's a, a Toyota. Toyota. I, I I like that. I like that. <laughs> Another I, thing uh, that I didn't mention about saving money is that it comes with a service plan. Most okay. smaller vehicles are cheaper because it does not have a service, a service plan. plan. So oh. this one has a two-year, thirty thousand. Uh, kilometer service plan, which is uh, 15,000 intervals, mm -hmm. which you um, don't have to pay for anything for the first two years. Whoa! Yes, so that is quite quite nice for uh, that is very a startup. Nice. Uh, say, for instance, a student yes. that buys the vehicle only for movement, uh, mm. they don't have to worry about paying services. That is or amazing. have to have a lot of money for fuel and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is basically the ultimate replacement vehicle for town use or student vehicle okay speaking of um money since we are on the topic of money how much out of the box is this car going for well uh, you have three models you get the the s xs which is this one and the xr which is your top of the range your xs starts from 189 which okay. is currently the cheapest than previous models as well cheaper than the previous model that was on the market mm -hmm. yeah so you have an installment about uh, 3100 including insurance what yes that is ridiculous <laughs> that is ridiculous explain to us okay and the XR the XR then will then be this model uh, on the XS which is the uh, the smaller cheaper mm -hmm. version does not have a touchscreen radio okay it already comes with speakers and USB ports and everything. You just choose what radio brand you want in it, which is going to be cheaper than this one mm -hmm. as well. So you can decide whether you want to put in a Sony Bluetooth or CD player or USB uh, radio. And it will still be cheaper than the one just after it. And how much would that be? That will be 100, uh, 230. Okay, I yes. see. That's still pretty much affordable. I mean, yeah. considering everything yes. that it comes with. Explain to us the difference between, I know you said um, with the XR, it's yeah. obviously All right. more uh, advanced. Yes. The XR comes with only the touchscreen radio. Both of them come with the parking assistance, mm -hmm. so the safety is not a compromise uh, on both models, whether the cheaper version um, doesn't have a radio, mm -hmm. still has the parking sensors, um, and then the Magrams, the, the, the XR comes with Magrams, okay. whereas your entry level comes with the hubcaps, mm -hmm. which is also uh, good looking, you know, when you look at it, it it's not to say the fact that it's a plastic, it, it looks bad on the car. It's still a well-designed uh, cap that fits the vehicle. Okay. Please adhere to the speed limit. I did not. Let's talk about the AC. I see here we have our AC controls. We have our um, cup, cup holder. Yes. yes. We also have our 12 volt um, power socket. Power socket. We have USB. our USB. And it's all very nicely packaged. It's very comfortable, like again, in, mm -hmm. the, in your, your driver reach. So yes. um, it's, made, it's made in such a way that you have like a type of cockpit where everything is just very close by to you to have less distractions from the road. Yes. Uh, even your cup holders, the reach is just with a few it's centimeters It's literally from you. a yeah. few centimeters. Correct. And yeah. I love being my coffee. It's, it's crucial that Man. my coffee 
is within and reach. And to stay awake. And to stay awake, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also talk about food space. Yes. Um, let's talk about this right here. The glove compartment. Yes. That's Obviously, it comes with... It keeps your service booklets and your owner's manual. Mm -hmm. that, so that in the case that you have to... Uh, read up about a certain button before you call the dealership you can read up <laughs> about it and, and, and familiarize yourself because apart from the salesperson or the person that actually sells you the vehicle the manual is the best alternative yes ever. we are going to open up the back see how much storage we have at the back and also speaking of space leg room, leg room yes. i am quite tall and I do like the fact that I'm sitting comfortably. Yes, you still have enough. I enough still have for little plenty. Bags, little bags that you carry around, or those extra shoes yes. that the ladies always carry in the car. The many shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I like that I have a lot of leg room and headroom. Now, right here, we have our 295-liter boot. And I have to say, it is quite a bit of storage space in here. Like you said, this car is not really for your heavy-duty stuff. But if you do go shopping, like me, we can fit actually a few shopping bags in here, as, as well as, you know, our suitcases for a quick trip to the coast. <laughs> so, let's actually see how we can stack up things in here. Okay, so as you can see, we still have quite a bit of storage space. Like I said, if you're to go shopping, you don't have to worry about whether or not your stuff will fit. Trust me, it will fit tried and tested. But after you take out your stuff, of course, we're going to see what we have under here. Obviously, you have your dashboard protector for the sun you see guys i do know stuff do we have a spare wheel in here yeah. all right so Hans is going to talk to us about the spare wheel and how that is set up let's take a look all right um let me just get this out as well okay you have a little opening here mm -hmm. that shows where you can um lift the floor which then takes you to your spare Ooh. wheel. Your spare wheel is fitted next to it with your um, triangle for those safety areas. So whenever you have a flat, mm -hmm. um, and then your tools that come standard with all our models, uh, which has a jack and a wheel spanner, and sometimes a screwdriver as well, because you might need that out. Basically everything you might need. Exactly. In in case of an emergency. That's correct. Oh, awesome. And then uh, it is a space saver. <laughs> no, this is a full size spare wheel. This is exactly the same size spare wheel which is on the vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, which doesn't make you look awkward. <laughs> and yes, because the space saver, the thinner the tire is, the it limits your speed. Mm. You can only drive up to 80 kilometers an hour. With a with a with a little baby one. Mm -hmm. This is the full size. Yeah, it, but it shows the 80, 80 max as well. But it is a full size spare wheel. Okay. Yes, I can feel it. Awesome. So, to be on the safe side is to follow the protocol, which mm -hmm. is a layout from the manufacturer, which is eighty kilometers an hour, an hour. and then it's of just course, for you to get to the next place, uh, next get stop where you can, yes, where you can replace it. Your tire. Awesome. And then obviously, once we close it up, then we still have all of that storage space, yes. like I mentioned earlier. Well, that is it for the brand new Toyota Vids, which keep in mind is Toyota's cheapest car. And I mean, we get to, we got to speak everything about this beautiful, compact, fuel saving. What else can I say about this car, guys? Like, what more could you possibly want? You get a nice warranty plan, you get money, you get value for your money. And of course, Hans, thank you so much for giving us a tour, for taking the, pa the People's Passenger Princess out <laughs> on a ride in this beautiful cherry red Toyota Vitz. Any last words? Well, um, I would say come see for yourself, have a test drive, let the car speak for itself. Awesome!
up. Yeah. <laughs> that is it for today's episode of My Dot N A Cars. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can catch us again same time, same place next week on Thursday at 9 p.m. That is on NTV, DSTV Channel 285, GoTV Channel 25, as well as all of Namibia Media Holdings Facebook pages.